Dana, uh, two big movies come out this week, and as Dana mentioned, Josh Bell here joins me now with the Las Vegas Weekly's a film editor to talk about them. Number one, uh, Johnny Depp here, Alice Through the Looking Glass. Uh, what's the verdict? How's this one looking? Uh, not so great, yeah. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's the sequel yeah. to uh, 2010's uh -huh. Alice in Wonderland, the kind of live action remake of the Disney animated classic, uh, also based on the Lewis Carroll book. Of course, Disney big on these live action remakes of their animated right. films. So now this is a sequel to the remake. Uh, so we've really gotten far away from the original story. And you can tell watching this movie that the, the story, the whole movie has no reason to exist other than kind of the marketing machine. Wow, don't uh, hold back, Josh. Give I, I mean, I like it's, it. it's, no. it's, not, it's, not, uh, it's not interesting, it's not engaging. Uh, Tim Burton, who directed the first movie, yeah. is not back here. So any amount of kind of personality or creativity that was going on in the first movie really isn't present here. Johnny Depp doing his very familiar kind of tired weirdo persona mm -hmm. here as the Mad Hatter. Yeah. Just like he's done before. Uh, I mean, it's got bright colors, and, and maybe for kids, yeah. it can be a distraction. Uh, but, but it's definitely not a story that really draws you in in any bottom way. Bottom line here is keep your money in your wallet. On I would one. say so. Even yeah. if you like the first one, this one is a disappointment. Okay, number two. I mean, I'm a big fan of the X Men uh, series. You got X Men Ap Apocalypse coming out this weekend. Yes. And. Uh, it's not quite up to the standards of the previous X-Men oh. movies. I would say between this and Alice, this is slightly better. Okay. Uh, but after the last X-Men movie, Days of Future Past, which was really exciting, bringing all these different characters together in this really epic story, yes. I think it's tough to follow up on that. So and where are we here then on this sort of linear timeline? It's, that's a good question. Right. It's a bit confused, I think, at yeah. this point in the continuity. Exactly. This one takes place in the 1980s. Okay. So it's after the previous one, but still not to the present day yet. Yeah. So we're reintroducing some characters their younger versions, and it's just very cluttered with different characters and different storylines. Uh, the villain Apocalypse is not the strongest villain they've had. I think the central character dynamic is still good. Michael Fassbender, James McAvoy, mm -hmm. Jennifer Lawrence is the main characters. They have a really good dynamic, but uh, the story, uh, again, it just it, it doesn't have that, that level of why are we telling this story yeah. other than the fact that we made a bunch of money last time and we better do it again. Well, maybe that's all there is to it. I, know? Unfortunately, <laughs> sometimes there is. I think there's a little yeah. more in the X-Men movie that, than there is in the Alice movie. Right. But overall, these are kind of franchise extensions that don't justify themselves well enough. Yeah, are you surprised that uh, these two movies aren't so good? I, I mean, mean, I'm a little more surprised with the X-Men movie because Brian Singer, the director, has made really the best movies in the series, including the, the previous one. And I think he has a good handle on the characters, but I think when you get to the sixth movie in a series, it's not a surprise that they struggle to come up with new ways to tell the what story. What does it say about Hollywood right now that here we are Memorial Day weekend and their two sort of big blockbuster movies are kind of, uh, you know, Well, so I think it says that they know how to make money, that these oh. are char characters that are popular and that people are going to go see even if maybe they aren't the best versions that you, they could possibly be. I think these movies will still probably make a good amount of money, but I just wish they were a bit more entertaining. All right, Josh Bell with uh, Las Vegas Weekly. Always appreciate your time. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you so much. All right, we'll be right back, everyone.